Hello beautiful people. Today we're going to be going and checking out some amazing curb spots. They've been going off here in San Diego and I'm super excited. But this is the conundrum right now is that you have these amazing skate spots and as skaters you know they're temporary so you have to get them while you can because they're going to be gone in a matter of time. So before we get into the meat and potato of today's video let's grab some coffee. the first curb spot right here. This thing is super cool. It's a bank. So Kellen James, Chris Lurd, they got it going, the bunch of lacquer, rub bricked it up. So it's pretty cool. It's basically like one foot high with a really nice bank on it. There's a few kind of waxed up areas where they lacquered it and hit it all really good. So let's get this first curb session going, get warmed up on these curbs. They're pretty wide, kind of scary to actually skate. And I got my curb board out today. Got my 215s on there, super small wheels and my C-Rat board. Thing rolls. So Let's uh, get warmed up on these epic banked curbs and uh, yeah, drink some coffee. My mom and my dad? Property. Hi, my name's Roy Jennings. I'm asking you to leave. Thanks. What's up, Roy? How are you doing? All right. All right, Roy says don't come to this spot. All right. Likewise. Uh, yeah, it's all right. We're just getting in the parking lot. Yeah, I like that you record everything. You know, the generation wants proof. But honestly, man, you know, have you, haven't you ever heard of anybody suing a nonprofit organization? I mean, this is California, isn't it? Yeah, it is California. You know, and there's yeah. a skateboard park just up the street off the market. Okay. And what are those skate parks based off? You know, my generation put skateboard parks all over California, man. Who cares about what generation you okay. are Well, you do. No, you're bringing it up. I didn't bring all right, you guys. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> you leaving. <laughs> all right. Thank you for your service. Later. Got the boot from this spot onto the next one because uh, you gotta roll the punches, baby. All right, so we got the boot from that curb spot. I'm really hyped to go back there. But that's all right, because we're at the next spot. And this one is really cool. There's these like, it's almost like a roller coaster of curbs. There's like four or five curbs in a row and they're kink. They go down and there's a gutter next to them. So you do banana slides, all sorts of options, super rad. Let's, uh, maybe we get a couple lines here, Andy and Michael already warming up. Let's check out this dope slappy grind spot. And I do have one or two more slappy spots so today we're just checking out all these amazing curbs here in san diego look at this thing it's a roller coaster slappy run and this one right here Woo! yeah super hot spot i've been wanting to come here for quite a while so super hyped check out these curbs
I thought you had that for sure. Keeps getting stuck right in that one spot. That was there's like the one where it actually kind of made sense. There's like Bondo in here to yeah. fix these cracks. I got a pop out on that one though. It does. It kind of like it. you're almost like popping out right through the hole right there. I think without these little grivets and JB weld in here, you'd be getting caught. Made a video all about how to fix curbs. You can do that. Super good idea to get your local spot going. Dang, money, baby, money. Just need a little bit of icing and then the cake is ready. I think that was five. It's also good if you don't land it. I'm just gonna put it on the record in case Michael doesn't land this trick. Four facts, when you're in your mid thirties, it's okay. As long as you get out and you make the effort to go skateboard, you're not always gonna walk home with everything that you want, but at least you made the effort. <laughs> Fuck yeah, G. Thank you. So this curb spot was actually started from Kellen James and Jamie Palomar, two San Diego professional skateboarders that are going around and putting in work. So shout out to all the skateboarders that are getting curbs going. Basically it takes a rub brick and some clear enamel. I've made tons of videos on how to do that. But yeah, just wanted to give a quick mention, quick thank you to Kellen and Jamie for getting this spot going. We're gonna head to the next spot here in a second.